Hey everybody, welcome to Fishing Planet. My name is Lady, and today we are going to talk about how to catch walleye in New York. As you guys can see, I just got one. We are going to keep it, and that will have topped off my net. First of all, let's check what I have uh, as a setup. So I'm using a Value Spin 260, a wind cost 2500, braid 0.1mm line. Never spoon in this particular case the black one, seven gram one point uh, odd one odd, and then the second or the other thing that is very important is the stringer that I'm using. It is the Fishtail XS and it has a, a maximum keep weight of fifteen kilograms and a single fish weight of four. So um, as you guys can see, here is uh, my catch of the day. I had a couple of uh, and buy catches like Northern Pike and Trophy Chain Pike. I kept those because they are worth the money as well. Um, however, the regular uh, or, or the young Northern Pike and uh, Yellow Perch and stuff like that, I uh, all of those I released. Um, but if you fill this uh, stringer up to the top, you get roughly a reward of 2800 bucks. Uh, with the 15 kilogram stringer, so uh, this is uh, by far the best fish to go after in, in New York. Uh, lures that I've used uh, today, it is a full cloudy day, and that is the reason that I'm using dark colors. Uh, if it were to be a rainy day, I would use dark colors as well. On a full sunny day, however, instead of using this uh, black spoon, what I would use then is the Amylite or the purple narrow spoon. So there are a couple of ways that you can catch them. Uh, narrow spoons work very good. We go back to my stringer. Let's see. Uh, grub over here. And grub works very well as uh, as well. Very good as well. I've used the jig hat nine gram one odd. Uh, two odd works as well. Uh, Forty gram one odd works very well. And then I used uh, this grub. The uh, dark green one because it was a dark day. You could also put a red on it or a yellow, uh, in different sizes that works as well. I would suggest however not to go bigger than a, a two odd hook. Um, if we go to fish species over here and we click on a walleye, you can see that also uh, you can also float fish them. However, I've not been lucky today in catching them. I did try it with both small uh, with uh, small minnows. Um, for some reason they eluded me today, but in general what you need is this setup, Telefoto 650. Uh, you will have a bit of a struggle with it though. Uh, it is a bit better to go with a, a bit of a bigger uh, floating setup, but this will do. And then I have Inspirecast 2000 on it, Mono Open 80mm line, Chubby Bobber and a one odd hook. A one odd hook is uh, by far the best that you can use. Two odd works alright, but you're not getting that many bites as with, uh, with one odd. And the depth I was fishing at 120 centimeters or 40 inches, 30 inches and 90 centimeters works as well, and then all the way up to max depth. So that is basically it. Now let me show you guys where I was fishing. So I'm currently standing over here at the dock, dock of Pete's. And what you do is you have this huge tree. You can cast just towards the tree, but nowadays you can also catch them over there and you can catch them over there. So let's, I tend to be fishing them a bit more to the left of the tree. And what you do is you set your drag on free, your reel speed on free. And we are going to do a stop and go. Just need to wait for the narrow spoon to sink. Now the bottom does uh, incline at times. So that is when you'll see that you'll get a straight and slow. Um, just continue to do your stop and go to technique. So you press the left mouse button, hold it for a second, release it and wait for a second. Just like so. Now on uh, cloudy days and sunny days, the walleye are a bit further out. Uh, you can catch them anywhere between say 55 meters out and roughly 20 meters out. When it's a full rainy day, 
you can even catch them as close as 10 or 8 meters out. Uh, so that will be roughly 30 feet on rainy days. And here we go, we got a fish on. I need to up the drag a bit. And when it's not doing a whole lot of jumping, then you are sure that you hooked a walleye. So this is a walleye as well. He's uh, giving a bit of a fight. Uh, that's alright. We got one small jump over there. If it is to do another jump, then it is not a walleye. Then it's rather either a, a chain or a northern. But let's see. And the moment that it comes close and you can see it, then uh, the two dorsal fins are on its back. Definitely a sign that you hooked the walleye. So the moment that I hook the fish, what I do is I up my drag to 5 out of 6 with this particular setup because as you guys can see you need the force, you need the power. This one's pulling heavy. Now the downside of using a stringer is that for instance if this turns out to be a trophy uh, then we can't keep it because with a stringer you cannot release earlier caught fish. No, I might give it. No, he's jumping too much. But I think we hooked a northern pike. Ah, my new personal best. But yeah, so we can't uh, keep this one, unfortunately. Uh, but this is one of uh, the side products that you get with uh, fishing on the narrow spoon. Um, and uh, the regular northern pikes, uh, so not the young ones, but the regular, I would suggest them keeping them because they do give you quite a lot of money. Uh, need to release this one though and adjust the drag. So, but this is for uh, walleye in general. Now, if we go to Midland Charm, because we can fish for walleye there as well, then you just go stand over here. Now, you guys can see that you got a patch of lily pads over here. Just cast right alongside it, so to the right side of the lily pads, and that will be all. So you can cast over here, and then just do a stop and go retrieval. Uh, you can also cast a bit over here, that will work, and then here as well. Do not cast too close to the dock though. Uh, here there's a lot of grass, pickerel, uh, rat fin, yellow perches, all that kind of stuff. But a bit more further out into uh, the lake, that will definitely do. So let's give it one try. Let's see if we can hook one of them. And again here it is also just a stop and go. Now if you're using jig hats, uh, in particular when you're using a light jig hat, instead of a stop and go what I would suggest is to do a lift and drop. So you just press both mouse buttons, hold them for a second, release, wait for a second, just like so. That works pretty good as well. Uh, I found that it works better with the jig hats doing this technique than doing the stop and go. Uh, the further your line is out, the less control that you have over your lure. Here we go, fish on. The less control that you have over your lure. And uh, with a lift and drop, it is easier to lift it off the bottom. So the walleye, they do like to uh, swim a bit above the bottom of, uh, of the lake. And we have a jump over there. It's also not really giving me fight, so I doubt this is a walleye. It is a chain. There we go. Chain park. Uh, I'll release this one of course as well because I can't take it. But in general uh, I would keep it. It's uh, a little under uh, above 500 gram. A little bit above uh, half a kilogram and gives you 84 bucks. But let's release that one. Uh, you could see that it did give me was it 80-ish experience. Uh, we go here though. You can see that this is 1.4 kilogram. I'd say average weight of walleye is 1.2 kilogram. So the 1.4 is quite big. Uh, but I fished here just one day and I leveled up twice. I went from level 11 to level 13 uh, with these fish caught. So all in all, uh, that is, uh, is quite good. Leveling up uh, and then of course money. 
uh, some money. It is, let's grab a 1.2, uh, a bit over 230 uh, that you get for a regular sliced walleye. And well, you do get a bit more if they uh, do become a bit bigger. Let's see, are there any? Yeah, there are trophy walleye here as well. Uh, I must say, I've not caught a whole lot of them. They're quite rare, it seems. Uh, but still, you can uh, catch them, and of course, trophies uh, reward you much more. But yeah, all in all, uh, a good day. So with that, folks, I am going to leave you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time again with a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.